Uh, hi everyone. This is going to be uh, a short video to address an issue that might come up when you're preparing your Maya scenes uh, to upload. Some of you might have already have uploaded. I think you get uh, another chance closer to the day like deadline, I think Paul's video said. Uh, but I thought this was important because I know some people have had problems with this and I don't want people to uh, lose out on the fact that their textures don't come through when they save their scene file. Now, if you'd been doing everything uh, as you should have been doing it, and like uh, certainly my group, how I showed quite near the beginning, if you set up your Maya project and you've been working in a Maya project on your Mars base and you did that using a project window and you put new and you put I don't know, my Mars project or something like that, except. And then when you saved your textures from substance into the source images of that project, so here is the uh, folder structure for this substance lecture um, project. And so when I'd finished doing the textures out of substance, I saved them into source images in a subfolder called barrel. Now, if you do that and then you zip up your uh, Maya project, like uh, Paul shows you in the, his video, then you'll be fine. But I know for a fact that a whole bunch of people, at least, have been saving their textures out of substance, not in to the Maya project. They've been saving it somewhere else, uh, maybe on pictures, maybe just some subfolder on a USB stick called My Textures or something like that. But they haven't. The important thing is they have not been saving. Uh, the textures into this source images subfolder of the project that they're in. So normally your scenes go in scenes and your textures tend to go in source images. But for some reason or other, uh, the textures have not been going into here, they've been going into somewhere else. Now, uh, I want to show you a way of uh, preparing your Maya project if this has happened. So uh, let's go in here and if we go up to here and we choose some of our textures here. Uh, so this is base color. So at the moment uh, I've uh, loaded these textures in from uh, an outside project, or not an outside project, sorry, an outside, a folder that exists outside of the projects folder structure. So I put it just straight into pictures and into a folder called don't save textures here you fool. Okay, so at the moment if I were to zip up this substance lecture folder, project uh, folder uh, structure, then it would not zip up the textures because the textures are stored outside of it. The textures are stored uh, in here. So what do you do if you have textures outside of your folder structure, of your project folder structure? You, uh, you make sure you've saved it. Make sure, make sure you save your scene into the actual proper project that you hopefully are working in. And just make sure you know which project you're working in. Go to File and go to Archive Scene. Uh, I've gone to the Option box. You don't really need to go to the Option box because you don't really need to click this. Uh, you just go Archive Closed. Go Yes and Yes. And what it will do is it will take your project, it'll take your, uh, all the relevant parts of your project, like the scene files and the textures, and it will create a new zip file with them all in, uh, sitting in scenes just here. So this one's called, uh, it's going to have exactly the same name as your scene file, but it's going to also have a .zip after it. Let's have a look in here. There it is, just here. So you go into this scene file, this zip file, sorry, you're going to see uh, users, then your name, then documents, Maya project, uh, and uh, some scenes probably, something in here, think anything that it thinks is uh, relevant to your scene. Uh, you'll also see this pictures. Now this pictures is uh, where the textures are stored. And uh, it'll, it'll put all your textures in there. Notice how it copies the same path structure of your uh, of where your textures actually are. That way then, when this zip file now will contain the textures and the scene file, but there is a possibility 
that your scene will lose the path to the textures in that zip file. Sometimes you'll lose it, sometimes you won't. It depends on the computer. Uh, I have a feeling that if you test this out on the same computer that you've been doing your original uh, Maya scene in, you'll be fine and it won't lose the textures. But if it does lose the textures, and I would do this... Uh, oh my goodness, I, can't, I don't know what to say anyway. But check this out. If it has lost the textures, um, you want to repath the textures in here. And I want to show you how you do that by loading one that's deliberately wrong. Actually, I'm going to delete uh, these. Oh, hold on a second. Will it let me delete them now? Let's just check. <laughs> Sometimes Maya just does not want to let go of the texture. Okay, let's close my down and do that. Okay, I might edit out this bit. Okay, we're back. Right, what I want you to do after you've done that archive scene and uh, it's created this zip file, I want you to take it to another computer with Maya on and unzip it and load up your scene file from that other computer that preferably you haven't used before. Uh, there's a good chance that your model will come in untextured, looking like this, or something like this. This is what you do to remap the uh, file path for the textures to your model. You go to uh, Windows, General Editors, File Path Editor. And this is what you'll probably see. You'll probably see these little red uh, crosses showing that there's something wrong, that it can't find these textures. So click it and go Repath Files. Um, I click on this might be clicked off. I clicked that on just uh, just because it will so uh, it will look through subdirectories. Then browse to where your textures actually are. I move mine to temp just a folder called temp. Yours will be actually, yours will be um, in the unzipped, um, let me show you actually, see if I can show you here. Um, documents. Actually, no, I'm not going to show you. When, when you unzip your um, your archive that you made, it'll create obviously those subfolders. Um, but what you want to do so you go to this, let me just show you again, I'm getting all uh, um, sort of trying to do too many, to explain too many things at once. So you'll see these red X's, uh, meaning that it can't find the textures. Select them, Repath Files, this comes up, Browse, and browse to where your actual textures are. That will be in the subfolders of the archive file that you created. When you remember when you created the archive file in Maya, it created a zip file. And that zip file had things like uh, user, your name, and then it had documents and pictures. Your textures are probably going to be in pictures or they'll be just outside of the documents part. The important thing is you browse through that archive setup that you made to where the textures are, just where the folder is, and then go set, and then go repath, and it will turn from uh, a red X to a blue tick, if everything's worked out correctly, and your textures will suddenly appear. Uh, now, uh, if you save your scene and re-zip up uh, that folder structure, uh, then uh, it should remember the correct path uh, to your textures so that when Paul or myself loads it up, um, the textures, textures uh, should appear. Okay, that was a bit more confusing <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I hope that that helps. Um, the important thing to remember is uh, if you've been saving your textures in the actual project that you've uh, that hopefully you created at the beginning of your Mars base and you've been saving your textures into source images then you can disregard the whole video here. This is for people who have been uh, just saving sort of orphaned uh, Maya files anywhere and then their textures anywhere else. Uh, 
Uh, it's for those people who have um, yeah, been saving their textures outside of the Maya project setup. Next semester, um, hopefully, uh, if you have made that mistake, then uh, you won't make it again and you'll be a bit more strict with yourself and create a project at the beginning and save all your stuff into that project. Now, that project can be on a USB stick, uh, so um, you can still do it that way still use your USB sticks but the important thing is that uh, project structure is there for a reason and it's for uh, sharing projects and scenes that have more you know like a scene and some textures okay I hopefully hopefully that was useful and hopefully that will save um, some people's skin <laughs> when it comes to uploading their textures and their um, uh, assignment mass assignment uh, projects okay thanks and I'll see you later bye bye